All right, what is up you guys? My name is Giovanni and thank you guys for joining me today. So today I'm gonna be working on my intercooler piping. The thing about my truck is there's no intercooler kit for this. As far as I know, no one has ever twin turboed a 54 Chevy pickup before. So of course, everything I do is gonna have to be custom. So the piping I'm using is two and a half inch stainless steel tubing. There's kind of a couple different ways you could go about doing intercooler piping. You can get some pre-bent bends, mandrel bends. You can pick those up. For stainless steel, they're pretty pricey. Some of them are about $20 a piece. You can take your straight tube to an exhaust shop and have them bend it for you. I don't know how much that is, but it sounds pretty expensive. And then there's kind of the uh, more, not so controversial, but a, there's a lot of opinion on it. And it's doing a pie cut method. Basically what a pie cut is, is you take your straight pipe and you cut it down into a bunch of little tiny pieces of pie. So this is one piece of a pie cut. Basically, it's a nine degree angle on each side. So when you get a bunch of these together, you can basically form the pipe to go the way you want it to. So here's a basic demonstration on how pie cuts work. You can see I have one single pie cut here. This is the nine degree pie cut. I add another nine degree pie cut on top of it and it starts to get a shape or it starts to make a bend. I can keep stacking pie cuts on top of it until I get, you know, whatever bend I'm looking for. 10 of these nine degree cuts would make 90 degrees, which would be a 90 degree bend. Basically the coolest method and the reason why I'm using pie cuts and why other people use pie cuts is that not only can we make just a straight 90 degree bend, but halfway through we could turn one of these and now we have this kind of complex shape that you couldn't get with a mandrel bend. And yeah, I'm probably not the best guy to be uh, explaining all this to you. There's other people like the Fab Series and the Fabrication Forums and those guys that, you know, are engineers and they do this really precisely. I'm of course doing the uh, kind of ghetto method of things. As you can see, I'm using a miter saw to cut things. Ideally, you'd want to use like a bandsaw or some other thing. And then I'm basically just grinding them all flush with my angle grinder. Seems to be working for now. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing this and uh, you can follow along with me. So here's one piece that I've already kind of tacked together. I'm trying to figure out a good angle to come down on. And I'm gonna just tape it with some masking tape and then keep going down until I can make it to this little hole right here. As you can see, even though I'm not being 100% accurate with everything, I'm still able to get this nice bend and contour the way I want it to. And then I'll probably need another, you know, maybe 10 pie cuts to go into this hole right here. All right, so here's this piece. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and just marked everywhere on it. So that way I know where I need to line it up when I take the tape off. So my camera died uh, while recording this, but I'm back. Um, I just got a little bit more done on it. Uh, let me show you guys what I got. So basically I've got the whole thing somewhat assembled. I'm just working on the uh, finish welding now, as you can see. And what I'm doing is I'm basically only welding a couple sections at a time and then breaking off this section or breaking off the section. So that way I can get in there and clean all that up. See how there's those little uh, BBs all over and stuff like that? I gotta get in there and clean up all that because you don't want that stuff just kind of floating around in this tube because then it gets sucked in, sucked into your intake, sucked into your intercooler. You just don't want those things in there. Yeah, I'm MIG welding stainless steel right now. And uh, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not that bad actually. It looks really shitty right now, but um, I'll show you guys what it looks like once you grind everything down and again I'm not the best welder in the world, but these are nice solid welds and No holes is what is what's important 
So yeah, let's go ahead and get cranking again on the welder and uh, finish this thing up. Um, I'm all done welding this thing up uh, I'm gonna let it cool down before I place it up in the truck But as you can see it's not pretty not pretty at all I'm still gonna grind down all those welds make it look nice and smooth, but yeah, it's functional It works it fits and at the end of the day. That's all that matters in the next video I'm gonna show you guys more about how I cut the pie cuts and do all that but uh, yeah tonight I just got really uh, busy welding and I got it done so I will catch you guys again in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace out guys.